Welcome to Seniors. I'm Marlisa Goldsmith in the beautiful THV 11 Weather Garden. We are so glad that you joined us because for the next 30 minutes, we are honoring and celebrating the graduating class of 2020. When these students began their senior year, they had absolutely no idea their year would be cut short by a pandemic. But as you're about to see, these seniors are showing all of us what real determination looks like. Chris Smith I go to Episcopal Collegiate School and Emily Greenwell I go to Benton High School are in the final days of senior year. So the school year started um, with a lot of excitement, of course, because it's senior year. Two students who helped tell the story of a graduating class unlike any other. It was, it was a good year. It was filled with anticipation for me, at least. Both are very involved. We would be preparing for AP exams. I started playing soccer last year. I was also on the test team. Um, I do debate. And both share in disappointment. It, it hit me kind of hard. That senior year is all but cut short for them and thousands of their peers across the state. We kind of anticipated that we would be out of school for the rest of the year, but as soon as it kind of hit us and we learned about it, that's when it, the final blow really struck in. They'll finish the school year and their high school careers completing coursework at home. Emily, Benton senior class president, describes how her classmates are handling this unexpected turn of events. In the very beginning, a lot of anger, a lot of confusion with, you know, why are we doing this? This makes no sense. And I think right now we moved into more of a, we're starting to accept that this is happening. I think a lot of people are beginning to see that, you know, this is serious. These two do. And they say the interruption to their daily life has come with valuable lessons. I guess a positive value you could say is just kind of starting to appreciate uh, your friends even more, kind of time you have left them before you have to go off to college, and kind of appreciate the, what school can get, give to you in a physical setting rather than from an online. Just because today is extra hard, we we still have to move on, and there's more after high school. It's unfortunate that we have to miss out on a lot of the highlights for most people, but this is definitely something we won't forget. For many Arkansas schools, the challenge for administrators became how to give seniors the proper send off with a graduation ceremony. Many of them turned to virtual graduations, complete with valedictorian speeches, special guests, and of course, the reading of every single senior's name. And for Parkview Arts and Science Magnet High School, it included a special virtual musical performance. I close my eyes and I can see a world that's waiting up for me that I call my own. Through the dark, through the door, through where no one's been before, but it feels like home. They can say, they can say, our sounds crazy. They can say, they can say I've lost my heart. I don't care, I don't care, so call me crazy. We can live in a world that we design. Cause every night I lie in bed, the brightest colors fill my head. A million dreams are keeping me. Folks, we are just getting started. We've gathered some very special messages to the graduates from familiar faces you might recognize. Can you guess who the first message is from? Here's a hint. This isn't the way our seniors dreamed they would make history, but here you are. The COVID-19 pandemic is a historic event and your graduation is part of it. Arkansas senior class of 2020 was called upon to travel a path no other seniors have had to travel in my lifetime. You made it. Now take a deep breath and enjoy your moment. Congratulations. I'm honored to be your governor, and I wish you Godspeed as you head out for this day. And wherever your paths lead, I hope that someday your path brings you back home to Arkansas.
Hi, 2020 graduates. I'm Frank Scott Jr., Mayor of Little Rock, Arkansas's capital city. You've probably heard it a few times already. Congratulations. I'm excited to celebrate this important milestone with you, even though it's far different from what any of us could have expected. As you prepare for life after high school, you'll find that our world is facing a new, unique set of challenges. And we need you, your gifts, and your skills to create a better Little Rock, a better Arkansas, and a better nation. So I challenge you, after you transition from high school to pursue a higher education or joining the workforce, always use your passion to be of service to your community. All right, if there's anything COVID-19 has taught us, it's that when push comes to shove, our Kansans will most certainly find a way to make great things happen. When traditional graduations and ceremonies were canceled, communities all over Arkansas found a way to make sure their seniors still felt the love. something that they can have to put in their memory, you know, even though a COVID-19 is going to be their memory, but now they got this parade, this, this night parade on the night that they would have graduated to see this parade that's just going to make it more memorable for them. Since we didn't get a senior season, COVID has kind of canceled a lot of things, but this is one of the good things that's come out of it, just to see everybody again and see all the support and how the community is just kind of coming together. A lot of these kids um, have worked really hard and they've invested a lot in this school over the past four years that they've been here and it was a shame that they were not able to finish out their senior year so we thought this would be a great time for us to celebrate them. And I think that shows how much we really do care about our students here at Silver Hills. Yes, it was really dreary out and it was raining pretty hard, but we thought it was important enough for us to come out here and show our love and appreciation and just say, hey, we know you missed out, we still love you, and we were thinking about you on your next journey. rites of passages during your senior year is taking senior portraits, though this year many families opted not to since it poses some social distancing challenges. Brittany Smith of Click Smith Photography says senior photos are such an important tradition for families, so she's doing as many as she can for free and calling it the Senior Spotlight Project. Like I need to do something to give back. I need to do something to make everybody happy and I need to do something that's going to be bringing joy to not only me doing what I love, but also to these seniors who aren't going to have a chance. Another example of someone going above and beyond to make seniors feel special is a band director in Conway. The most challenging thing was to figure out how to get to every address. Conway High Band Director Robin Ratliff challenged himself. He and some teachers went on a scavenger hunt, delivering specially made signs for his senior students. We did some kind of a back and forth and made a few circles here and there, but we got it all accomplished. One teacher designed the sign. A local print shop made them, 52 to be exact, with each student's name and instrument they play surrounding the band's logo. I actually have it right here because we took it inside so it didn't get messed up by the weather. Mackenzie Williams says waking up this morning to her sign was a surprise, one that has lift her spirits. We don't get to do our spring concerts and we didn't get to do pit orchestra with the musical or anything like that, but to have this, is it's, it's very nice of them. The Conway High senior band members have been playing together since eighth grade. They felt torn apart through the COVID-19 crisis, but as each of their names surround the outer corners of their songs, 
They're reminded that they are forever a team. You know, it's been difficult not being in band every day and seeing each other. And so it was, it was nice to have something like this to kind of bring us all together. Obviously, we have to give a shout out to all of the teachers out there who did their very best to make sure all the students made the most out of this very unusual senior year. Before we go to break, we have another special message from a famous face. Can you guess who? To all the 2020 graduates, congratulations on a successful year. Best of luck in the future. Remember to always, always give back to your community. God bless you from Officer Norman. Congratulations to all the seniors. Uh, we're awful proud of you. It's a commitment of 12 years, and you made it. Congratulations. Stay to your values. Don't change uh, what's got you to this point in your life. And always, every day, have a goal. I'm sitting here as a head coach at Arkansas, and I came from a town of 888 people. You can do whatever you want to do as long as your mind tells you you can do it. Good luck to you. Go home. The world of sports came to a screeching halt when the virus started to spread. And for student athletes, that means their senior seasons were cut short. But as our Dorian Kraft found out, these student athletes are taking with them the lessons they've learned from their sport, how to be a team player, and to never give up. I was disappointed because I knew we were going to have a really good season this year. To all of the underclassmen, I would definitely say don't give up and keep practicing and trying and working hard. And the next season, you have to come hard because this one we didn't get to see it all the way through. Um, to my coach, I'll say I miss you and I'm sorry we didn't get to finish it now. I was just so disappointed because we started out so strong playing and I knew that we were going to do big things this season and to know that we went, that it's going to be, it was unknown, just it made me so upset to keep working hard because it will all pay off. Coach, when are we coming back? When are we coming back? And uh, I wish I had that answer. I really do. I wish I could say, hey, we're coming back, you know, June the, June the 1st. But uh, we just don't know. Football is about wins and losses. But when it's loss of life that's at stake with the coronavirus, it brings the meaning of football back into perspective. Well, just getting back together. I think the best case scenario is us having high school football in the fall and everybody's back together. Uh, win, lose, or draw. There's nothing great with the high school football. The one thing I wish I worked harder. I mean, uh, in practice, and I mean, because you always think, I mean, I'll work harder the next week. But when there's not going to be a next week, you, you know, you never know what you had. So I feel like just cherish every moment. I would just say, greater is coming. And for our, our seniors, I just want to say that the circumstances now should not shape the success that we have in the future. So I mean. Just because like we have a minor setback right now does not mean that we can have a major comeback. Our salute to seniors is not over just yet. Stick around because the commencement speech for the class of 2020 is next. And it's from our very own Greg O'Neill. I'm Arkansas Attorney General Leslie Rutledge. And to all the graduating classes of 2020, congratulations. While you may not have walked out to pomp and circumstance, life is not about pomp and circumstance. It's about overcoming challenges. And this class of 2020 is more prepared than many classes ever before because of the challenges you all have overcome. Congratulations, class of 2020, including my niece, Kylie Rutledge, class of 2020, Gravit High School. Congratulations, God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. Congratulations to class of 2020. Well, 
While this school year probably didn't end quite as you were expecting, we still wanted to take a minute to salute you on your many tremendous achievements as you move on to the next chapter. We know it's taken a lot of hard work to get to this point. And so from all of us at the CBS Evening News, congratulations, Class of 2020. Good luck. Hello to you, I'm Gail King, here to say bravo to you, Class of 2020. Best of luck to you on the road ahead, wherever your talents may take you, and you know you've all got talents. So this is, a, this is certainly not the way you wanted to end your school year. We all get that. So how about this? Take a minute to remember all of the good things. You know you had good things. Fun times that you shared with your family and friends. You had a lot of those. And we know that there are big, big things in your future. Did you hear what I said? Big, big, big things. So congratulations. Well done, everyone here at CBS this morning. To the class of 2020, I'm Jane Hill. On behalf of everyone here at Sunday Morning, congratulations and best of luck. Wherever the road ahead takes us, 2020 will be the last of the world. And now, from all of us here at THB 11, here's the final word from Craig O'Neill. To the class of 2020, adversity came to town and said, show me what you're made of. And across the land, healthcare workers and first responders said, bring it. And the people then braced themselves, not knowing what came next. And what came next was courage, compassion, and raw strength from unexpected places like the class of 2020, who almost in unison said, we'll show you and the seniors didn't back down. They did their lessons, they stayed together, drew strength from one another, they never felt sorry for themselves, nurtured their destinies, all the while reassuring the people afraid. And they saw their final year end, but not the challenges. And together they shrugged their shoulders and all became willing to take on whatever came next. They didn't need pity proms, graduations with gowns and crowns, and they don't need speeches about one day being leaders because they already are. Adversity came to town, left in its wake young adults who knew for certain they were going to change the world. Now go show us. Thank you, Craig, and thank you so much for joining us tonight for our salute to seniors. Remember, we love to share your pictures and your messages, and you can help us do that by texting us at 501-376-1111. Thanks for joining us. Hope you have a great day.